Hello! Today we are going to work on little characters that look like elves with very long hats. These are all boys. You can see that they have mustaches and beards. You could make a girl or female. Alright, let's get started. Hello, boys and girls. I'd like to show you some drawings of some elves that I've been working on. And boys and girls, you can see this one. It's not quite finished. You know, I started with his face, and I'm going to add some cotton for a beard. And he has this fun mustache and this crazy long hat. I do want to add some eyebrows. Here we go. So boys and girls, here's another example of a fun little elf. And this elf is not a male. And I wanted to add a little more hair down here. So you can see her face and hair. And her long hat with a simple pattern of circles. Here's another elf's hat. That's very The pattern is heart and space, heart and space, heart and space, heart and space. So we're building simple patterns. So boys and girls, I'd like to show you the first step for your project. You'll be getting a very long piece of paper. I had to turn it sideways on my desk here so you could see it. Boys and girls, we're making this elf in a very specific way, okay? We're going to make its hat very, very large, and we're going to have some fun with designing the face and the hat and adding a pattern, okay? So simply, you're going to see that I've made a little line here in a pencil for you. And what I'd like you to do is use that line as your guide to create the bottom of the hat. Now the bottom of the hat could be a straight line or a wavy line. And today I'm going to make it wavy. So I'm going right over that line that I had in pencil. This is going to be the bottom of the hat and we're just going to follow along and do it twice. So this little portion is the face. The top portion is the hat. So, boys and girls, in order to make the hat, what I'd like to do is I'd like you to start at this edge and try to bring a line all the way up and you can go waving in and out. Watch, I'm gonna go in and a little bit out and in and I'm gonna stop at the top. I'm gonna put a little circle here because we're going to put a little poof of cotton. So from here, I want to get back here. So I'm going to start at the bottom and go wavy line up. This is the top of the hat. We're going to be putting cotton on here. I'm just going to make a little circular shape for the ball of cotton. Now this is the hat, the rim of the hat, the top puff. At the bottom half, we're going to make eyes, nose, and a mustache, okay? So, I don't really want the eyes too high, and there's going to be space for a beard, so let's see. Why don't we start with, right down here, a nice big nose. Here we go, a nice oval in the middle. And I want to make a mustache, so I'm going to go down and down and try to touch the sides. And then over and over. Now we have a nice nose and a mustache for our little elf. Of course, we want to have some eyes. There's all sorts of ways you can make eyes. But today I'm going to make 
circle and a circle. Now I want to show that the little elf is looking somewhere. So this one is going to be looking over to the right. A little eyeball. So it's a half a circle and a half a circle. We could fit a little mouth here. Why don't we? He's going to be kind of a happy little guy. So we have eyes, nose, mouth. We could make rosy cheeks. Rosy cheek. Rosy cheek. Oh, you know what would be fun? Little eyebrows. So that's a line over and then trace a line just above. So now we have a face with eyes, eyebrows, a big nose, a nice long mustache that hits both sides, cheeks, and a nice mouth. Now we're just going to make a pattern within the hat of the little elf. Circles or stripes or diagonal stripes. Hmm. I'm going to do a simple this one I'm going to do a stripe, but I'm not going to make a stripe straight across. This project I'm going to do diagonal, so I'm going to do angle down, space, a line down, space, a line down, space, a line down. I'm going to keep going. Space, a line down, space, a line down, space, a line down. And I'm going to keep going down until I get to the bottom of the hat. Space, a line down, a line down. Always having a little space. A line down, a line down, a line down, and a line down. Voila! That's one pattern. And then when we're coloring or adding color, we're going to be coloring and painting and adding glitter and glitter glue, my, I should say, um, a cotton little fun beard, a cotton ball up here, and we're going to be working on pattern. So I'm going to do it one more time so you can see the simple steps. I'm going to move this over, and here I am again. Once again, you can see that line. This time, I'm going to make the line wavier and wavier. That's the bottom of the hat. Way at the top, I'm going to make a puff. Looks like tiny little half circles going around, round, round, all the way at the top. Now I need a line to go from the top to this edge and from the top to this edge. You want the hat to hit the edges, okay? So start at the edge and go all the way up. It doesn't have to be a straight line. It's supposed to be a silly hat. Start at the edge and work your way all the way up. Now I have two hats here. I made a striped pattern here. I could make a stripe in another direction or checkers. I think I'm going to make circles. But before I make circles, I'd like to make a fun little face for my little elf. So, last time I started with the nose. I'm trying to put it in the middle, near the bottom, but not all the way because we want to add a beard. So I'm going to draw a circle nose. And this time, I'm going to make really big eyes. Big circle, big circle. Now those eyes are huge, so I'm going to make them into a pair of glasses. I'm just going to have a line going across. Oh, that's cute. He's got glasses on and a line going across and a line going across. So I'm going to make his eyes a little smaller in here. Circle, circle, and he's going to be looking, he's looking over here. This one is going to be looking down. Half circle inside looking down, half circle inside looking down. And now I'm going to make another mustache. I always want the mustache to touch the edges. So I'm going to go down a little bit from the nose. I'm going to go down to the edge. 
down to the edge. Up, back to the nose, up, back to the nose, giving it plenty of space to add cotton for a nice mustache. And he's going to be going, oh no, maybe something silly is happening. And I'm going to draw color in his mouth. The rest will add, will add different colors and paint, okay? Now, boys and girls, I have made stripes that were at an angle on this one. I could do stripes going up this way, but what I'm going to do is circles. And circles also can set up a pattern. Circle, space, circle, space, circle, space. And you can keep going up, up, and up. Now, sometimes when you look at a hat, some of the fun pattern is on the side. So, see how this is going on the side and you wouldn't see this part? You could draw a half circle. You could draw right here a half circle. A half circle. A half a circle. And there we have it two little elves that are ready for some color. Actually, I might add a little hair here and here. So it looks like his hair is there. All right, boys and girls, enjoy yourself. If you'd like to make a girl, an elf that is a girl, you might want to add some eyelashes and don't give her a mustache. Oh boy. Thank you, boys and girls. Next, we're going to be working on patterns in color.